Hello, students. OK, we're down to our last topic in ratio and rate, which is the content, uh, sorry, the topic of rates. And we're going to have uh, just two brief videos on this. OK, first off, what is a rate compared to a ratio? Well, a ratio always compares quantities of the same type. So you're comparing millimeters to millimeters, meters to meters, etc. And because they're the same, we don't need to actually write the units. A rate is a way of comparing two quantities that use different units. So for example, we've got these apples for sale. And the rate is uh, for buying apples is you pay $4.96 per kilogram. So we're actually comparing dollars to kilograms. So if the units are different, it's a rate. If the units are the same, often we use a ratio. OK, now the most popular rate in the world is speed. So speed is just distance compared to time. And the actual formula for speed is just distance traveled divided by time taken, and that gives you the average speed for a journey. So if you're traveling at a constant rate, that would be the speed. But often when you're traveling, you slow up and you speed down. So the average speed is the total distance traveled divided by the total time taken. And if you want to use variables for that, we just use S equals D divide T. And notice that we can actually do a triangle for this. Just like the percent triangle that um, I use when I'm teaching percentages, we can say distance equals speed times time. Speed is distance divided by time, which is this formula, or time is distance divided by speed. So it doesn't matter which of those three quantities you're trying to solve. You can always uh, find it if you know the other two. And there's our three formulas that I just talked about. OK, let's go ahead and just do a question. These are quite simple. It's pretty much write down the formula and work out the answer. And probably the most important thing to remember is you've got to put units on all of these. So our car travels 360 kilometers in four hours. We're trying to find the average speed. So we just write speed equals distance over time or distance divided by time. I prefer to use capital letters for distance, speed, and time. 360 goes on top. 4 hours goes on the bottom. 360 divide 4 is 90. And the units are kilometers per hour. So you can usually get your units just by going back and reading the question. OK, I think that's going to be enough for me. Go ahead and try the next two, please. OK, welcome back. OK, here we have a female athlete. She ran or sprinted 100 meters in 10.49 seconds. So once again, we're looking for the average speed. So speed equals distance over time. The distance that she ran was 100 meters. The time it took her to run that is 10.49 seconds. And for this one, I'm going to have to uh, use my calculator. 100 divided by 10.49. And 9.53 if I round to two decimal places. So 9.53. Five, three. And in this case, it's meters per second. So M over S. Okay, that's her average speed. When she started off, she was going zero meters per second. And probably at the end, she was running faster than that. But on average, total distance over total time, 9.53 meters per second. OK, the last one's going to be uh, very similar, just different numbers. Speed equals distance over time. The distance he went was also 100 meters over 49.2 seconds. I'll just write the answer over here. 100 divide 49.2. And we get 2.0. 
zero three meters per second. I'll just write it like that. Sometimes we use the little slash for per, so meters per second. Okay, so finding average speed is pretty straightforward. Write your formula, substitute, and work out the answer, and don't forget to add the units. Okay, what if we're working, looking for something besides speed? So we might be looking for distance, or we might be looking for time. Well, you can either memorize your three formulas or just use your distance, speed, time triangle. So in this case, we know that the distance she walked was 22 kilometers. The speed was a constant 4 kilometers per hour. So we know the distance. We know the distance is 22. We know the speed is 4 kilometers per hour. And the triangle tells us that the way we find the time is just distance divided by speed. So in this case, we write the 22 on top. We write the speed on the bottom, and 4 goes into 22, or 4 goes into 25 times, and we have 2 fourths. So I can do that one in my head, and that's 5.5. And what we're working here is in hours, it's kilometers, so the time is going to be in hours. So we take our 5.5 hours to walk 22 kilometers. Okay, the bottom one down here, she's actually trying to work out the distance. So I'll leave you to try that one. Use the percent triangle to see if you can work out the formula and then work out the answer. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Well, the triangle tells us distance equals speed multiplied by time. So we're looking for the distance equals speed multiplied by time. The speed is 80 kilometers per hour on average. The time is three hours, and that gives us a total of 240. Again, looking at the question, 240 kilometers was the distance traveled. So speed, distance, time questions. If you use your triangle up here, um, they're all fairly straightforward. Write the formula, substitute, work out the answer, and put on the units.